Happy Friday, everybody. Friday afternoon. Sneak into the uh, sneak into the shop for a couple hours. I've got a major problem today. Somebody sent me a can't remember what the name. Some laboratory in New Hampshire. I can't remember what the heck the name of it. Some some amplifier from a, a kind of obscure company, and I just I don't even know where it is. So let's do a little time waster today. And welcome to uh, all of you. Uh, just to give you a little bit of update on this, the reason I'm trying to find that uh, amplifier is I got a 6CA4 rectifier tube for it, and now I can't find the darn, you know, the darn uh, unit. It should have just been an easy job to move that along. But <laughs> I got so much stuff in here after the holidays, it's kind of out of control uh today so um yeah let's let's talk about this for a minute we're going to talk about the yamaha and i did get a uh, box in here i did get a uh, amplifier not an amplifier but another str 7065 for peanuts that somebody sent down to me if i just covered the shipping in five dollars so I think we have a potential uh, amp board to pull out of that, but I don't, uh, you know, I might want to trick out that unit. Uh, I've, uh, the other one, I've already kind of uh, changed out. I want to kind of mod that up a little bit and go with some modern LEDs uh, on there. So, well, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, this unit here, the Yamaha, and this is the A962, this had the uh, frozen... Uh, relay and all the controls were really gummed up on here and these are very difficult units to work on uh, because they nest the boards on top of each other and it's very difficult to get to these if you want to replace uh, capacitors electrolytics and things like that tantalum coupling you know all it's just exceedingly difficult because of the way that they nest the boards in. I'm not saying it's impossible but uh, the big issue that this unit has is it would not it would not come out of uh, speaker protection because I believe that the relays and all of that system and the uh, the buttons and the uh, uh, all of the controls were so gummed up that electrical contact wasn't even being made when you uh, when you went when you went to fire it up it just would not get out of uh, protection so now when I fired it up, I don't know if I'm plugged in over here or not. I think I am. Yeah, we still got an uh, intermittent kind of power situation here. I think I'm, I think I'm in there. You know, it's still kind of a, uh, still kind of a mess. You know, you can't have a unit that sometimes it wants to behave, and sometimes, well, there it is. It took a minute to come. Now I've heard that I've heard the, uh, you know, I took the deoxid, and before Christmas I sprayed like crazy a lot of the contacts and things on the inside here, and this is the first time I've actually heard it come out of protection, because I'm I would I would dread having to take this thing apart, all these boards here. So let's hear. All right, now it actually sounds like uh, it's coming out of protection, which is good. Protection is just a mode where the uh, where the unit just goes through, the amplifier goes through a very fast sort of uh, cycle. And if something is a little out of whack, like the bias is, is screwed up or there's some other thing screwed up on the uh, um, in the uh, system here, it won't allow that, uh, it won't allow the uh, output to the speakers. So good uh yeah i still i'm looking for uh still looking for a manual on this thing but i'm kind of excited that it is apparently out of projection i haven't put a sound source in it i haven't examined all the caps thank goodness yamaha yamaha always tended to use the uh really good ones and i think that that's going to work to my to my benefit here. I would like to uh, recap the uh, 
Yeah, the amp board, power uh, power board here. But what I really need to do today is to find that doggone unit. I can't remember what the name of it was. It was it like came in in November. You know, I got I got so much stuff sitting around here, guys. I got this. I haven't even looked at this Yamaha Companion tuner. It goes, and I keep getting sent stuff. This is a, a Zenith console unit here, solid state. Got the STR7065, which has been on the side, but I've got to try to find, don't know where it went, that unit. So I'm going to kind of have to look around here and see if I can dig it out it's very frustrating you know you guys that you guys that have shops and stuff in the meantime I've got more test equipment somebody sent me a big uh, Sencor sweep and marker generator down there that big guy that I think that's probably got a few miles on it huh but that's kind of nice if it works that's always a big if not many things you know I'm so cheap not many things end up working so I usually get a lot of junky stuff from other people's shops but I'm gonna look around a little bit I'm gonna slide this uh, rectifier tube in and see if we can get this unit fired up but we're first we have to find the unit right where is it in here where is that why can't I even remember the name? Something it was in Massachusetts, something laboratories. I can't remember. Maybe one of you guys knows from watching the uh, prior videos. What a mess, huh? What a mess. All right, well, let me see what I can do. I did end up finding the unit. It was kind of on its side, so I didn't recognize. This is like a multiplex receiver, model R500 by Browning Labs, somewhere in New Hampshire. And there's not a lot about this unit. I know Browning Labs has been around a while, but this seems to be some type of, uh, you know, I don't know, the 54 mega cycle. It might be uh, police bands or something like that. I have no idea what this this is but uh this uh i was asked if i could track down a rectifier tube which i did which i was able to track down here this is the uh 5 3 the 5y3 gt we want to fire that up and let's see if we get uh and see a glow over here i sort of had that on a minute ago just for a second but uh, some kind of big capacitance issue here because look at the glow even though the uh even though the unit i have no idea what this thing is by the way it's like some type of uh some type of bypass is uh you know even when you unplug it it's got like some kind of standby power thing or something I know you probably can't see this in the uh, light, but everything is certainly uh, glowing now. But maybe you guys have an idea what it is. I was just asked to track down a tube and see if uh, see if it could get powered up. So it's powered up, but I don't have the time or the inclination to figure out what this is. Multiplex receiver. like a widow maker to me but it does have you know various crystals here 54.6 mega 54.6 mega cycles that's like way down below the fm band so i'm not sure maybe one of you out there has an idea because i'm not going to take any time on this uh, unit i don't have any interest in it to tell you the truth it looks it looks well built it's got definitely uh, all types of uh, looks like real precision coils in there very well made looks like decent parts of course it's got the wax uh, capacitors in there but I just I don't have the uh, 
I don't really have the inclination to mess around with this thing. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Contact him and tell him he has got power to it. And maybe try to get some more. You know, don't just... Uh, the point is, don't just send me something and then... You know, I got no idea what it was used for, or you picked up something off of eBay, and then you know, can you you think it's something and it's something else? I don't think this is a regular uh, amplifier in the sense of FM or AM or anything. This seems to be some type of dedicated some crystal oscillators on here, as you can see right there. So it's not the kind of thing that I'm particularly interested in, and unless I can find more information about it. But like I said, it's not the kind of thing that uh, I'm going to be mucking around. Uh, trying to do that okay so sit that on the side and wait for that guy to contact me like I said it seems like a well-built unit and yeah there's the rectifier in it so it definitely uh, definitely comes to life here she bangs she didn't bang before but she does now and the rectifiers would converts the AC to DC in here. So I don't know. I'm open to any uh, any ideas you guys have. Obviously, we have tuning tuning slugs over here for the coils. So this this seems to be a very precision piece of equipment. It's way beyond just a normal a normal amp here. So this is something uh, something bigger and something was made to go into here too. So. Okay, so, you know, no clue on my part. Maybe somebody out in there in the vast YouTube audience knows about the Browning Model R500 Multiplex receiver. All right. What I got to really focus on, it's very easy to get sidetracked when you have an electronics repair shop. It's very easy to get sidetracked with a lot of different things, and therefore you really get nothing accomplished. So... I want to come back. I got the uh, bottom off of the had the bottom off last time of the Yamaha. Since it's coming out of speaker protection now, I want to go ahead on today's Friday time waster and let's now feed a source into here. Let's hook some speakers up and what do you say we uh, what do you say we check it out and see if we get anything out of this uh, beast. These Yamahas are legendary with their uh, their extremely low total harmonic uh, distortion. In other words, how clean the sound comes through. These things are uh, these things are about as good as it gets in the audio world. And it's interesting today. Even the modern Yamahas tend to use the same brushed aluminum faces on it, which I think is kind of cool. This has all kinds of bells and whistles, listening level monitor, so you don't exceed, um, you know, certain uh, listening levels. I guess a threat to your ears or, or distortion and bass adjustments. And I mean, I can't even begin to uh, figure this thing out. But the big issue was that it did not come out of protection. And now when we turn it on, we hear the definite clicking. Let's hear that again. And we still got that intermittency with the power switch. Yep, you can hear that come out of protection. So that's a newbie. So obviously working on some of these controls and allowing that uh, that deoxid to sit on for a couple weeks really does a uh, nice job. I particularly hit down in this area with all of the uh, switch control a little bit and I banged around down there in case something was a little corroded and it was keeping it from coming out of uh, out of protection here so okay there's our protective relay I believe right there so let me turn that off a second See, I think this light is starting to get a little gamey. Sometimes that light comes on, sometimes it doesn't. But at least that re relay. I uh, 
took the uh, butt of a screwdriver and I kind of banged that around a little bit uh, too. Sometimes they get frozen up because they've sat for a long period of time. But the big, big thing I think was no no signal was coming over to that uh, to that board to get it out of protection. So let's go ahead and hook up some speakers. Doesn't sound real good. At least we're getting something out of the speaker, huh? Not seeing any uh, brush fires in here. These, uh... Hmm, very interesting. I can kind of hear something. You know, I'm playing Tchaikovsky through here. Well, at least we're getting something out of there. Weird, huh? Well, what do you know? In for a dime, in for a dollar. I decided to fire up the tuner here. I don't know if I'm going to get any stations. I got to put an antenna on it, but we got we got we got two channels cooking out of that baby, which is a nice thing. Let's see if we get. I just don't know any of this stuff. AM there. FM oh, We're getting something Sounds pretty good Let's put an antenna on it I gotta really look at this Owner's manual like this baby's pulling in signals. I put a little bit of an antenna on here. Well, this is good news. Tuners really never really go bad, do they? Let's stroll up, see what we get. Oh, swoops and fine -tuning. Boy, listen to the For quality bends, of that. Moans and growls fit right in with his. Like him, she also has a dramatic sense of phrasing. Unless you miss the parallels. The one with... Nacional, por lo menos de los aspirantes. Off FM. <laughs> no idea. Calibration or something. Jeez. the music police after me that's not bad is it what the hell that thing is I'm pretty happy don't get me wrong I think it's a dirty mess but it's playing So clean sound.
at work. The new 98.1 The Breeze. That's pretty cool, huh? It seems like that's working okay. Yeah, I really got to dig my snoot into the... Uh, into the manual here this thing is on you know probably be easier to work an aircraft control tower right than to muck around with this thing main direct i still haven't figured out all that uh all that nonsense maybe somebody knows out there save me the the trouble let's see i'm not getting any stereo where the light might be burned out third wish. We also heard Coldplay at Clocks. Here's Jesse J as promised and Tequila Moon. Nice little set, isn't it? Well, it came out of protection, nice. Let's see. Didn't even have it on FM. Holy crap. That's pretty cool. going to be a wrap today our shop time waster turned into a good thing we busted loose the yamaha a960 mark ii which is outstanding we still have more work to do there's still uh you know the pathways are causing a lot of static and a lot of problem on the auxiliaries and on the phono which is not to be unexpected on here we got some cleanup work to do but this should be a really fast uh, project to get done and then we can turn our attention back to uh, that uh, Sony STR 7065 all right guys well thanks for being along today there she is the Yamaha 960 amp mark II being fed by the uh, what is this natural sound CT 410 And she sounds pretty darn good. Got good signal for her. I'm really happy. The store on select items, lay coats, winter. Just goes to show you sometimes things can uh, often they do they freeze up due to lack of use and they get some corrosion and then when you go to turn it on it doesn't want to go thanks for being along everybody your thumbs up are appreciated we'll call this yes the busting loose the a960 mark ii the uh, wonderful beautiful yamaha amp and the other good news too i hadn't really fired up the uh, tuner I was told that that's not really working. <laughs> Seemed like it was working real well to me. Huh? <laughs> okay, buddy. Thanks so much.